Ken Freeman is an evangelist, a traveling preacher. Um, I used to work in the church, and I kind of jokingly, I, I kind of kid around, God delivered me from the church. I was just kind of too much on the staff deal. But I'm an evangelist that has a passion to see people saved. I want to see saved people restored. But Ken Freeman, some call me a comic. They think I can make it as a comedian. I think humor is a great thing, and I use it. Um, some people think I'm a wrestler. I mean, I've been wrestling the devil a long time. But Ken Freeman is just a guy that loves Jesus, that uh, God picked, picked me up out of the gutter of life and changed my life. And Ken Freeman is a guy that just loves Jesus, loves his word, and, want to give, and wants to give you some hope. My message is a message of hope. It's a message of uh, rescue. You know, uh, I, I use uh, little sayings, and one of my sayings is, God can take a mess and make it a message. I had nine stepfathers growing up, 24 different schools, five different high schools my last year of school. Uh, I lived in streets and cars and bars and alleys. My dad walked out of my life when I was four. My baby sister was two. My mom was an alcoholic. Any way that you could be abused, uh, we were abused sexually, physically, emotionally, mentally. My mom would beat us with broomsticks and with belts and with switches if she wanted us to bleed. We would sleep in our school clothes so when she drove up at two or three in the morning, we could slip out the back door and hide a couple of hours. Uh, I took my first drink of alcohol at nine. I became a product of my environment. By the time I was 15, I was already in jail. So I want you to understand that God can take a mess and make it a message. The other statement is those who have been wounded deeply, God will always use greatly. I talk to a lot of wounded people and I want you to know, I mean, I'm just telling you, 30 years I've been doing this, 280 days, 300 days out of the year, I'm on the road, I'm in schools men's conferences, uh, youth camps, marriage couples retreats, churches, whatever it is, Southern Baptist Convention. And that was weird because that's like the Super Bowl of preachers. And then there was me. Bottom line is this. I'm just telling you that my message is a message of hope. And we've got a lot of people that have lost hope. They need help. They're hurt. And so I try to bring some hope to the hopeless, help to the helpless. And those who have been hurt, I want them to know that God can take your mess and make it his message. What motivates me is I love people. You know, Jesus was about people. He loved the church. He loved lost people. He spent a lot of time with lost people. I don't always fit in in the church. My passion is people. I love seeing people saved. I love seeing people restored. I love seeing people get hope. I love seeing people's lives changed. That's what, it motivates me. But what real, I, and, and let me just tell you this, what gives me strength in that is God's word. God's word is my motivation. It's my mirror. It reflects who I am. It gives me direction. It gives me purpose. What really gives me strength and motivates my life is the word of God. And if I want to know the will of God, I got to know the Word of God. If I want to do the work of God, I got to be in the Word of God. Bottom line is, if I'm going to make a difference in people's lives and people motivate me, I'm kind of like a magnet to people who hurt. And I want to give hope to them. And our greatest hope is in the Word of God. So I, I stay in His Word fresh. I stay faithful to His promises, faithful. And I stay filled with the Spirit. That's the Word of God. That's what motivates Ken Freeman. Well, you, you heard about my mess that's turned into a message. Uh, family is very important to me. 38 million kids in America have no idea where their real dad is. 19 million kids in America have never seen their real father. Um, Jesus is the only dad I've ever had. Uh, Psalms 27 says, that though your mom and dad forsake you, he'll receive you. Psalms uh, 68, five says he'll be the father to the fatherless. Can I give you the good news? Family means a lot to me. I've been married 40 years. I have two boys, 34 and 38. I have eight grandkids and a dog named Peaches. Um, and here's the bottom line. Uh, all of that would not be in my life if it hadn't have been 
for Jesus Christ. It hadn't really been for a football player getting me to go to church to hear the gospel. And that became my family. Uh, I got a whole lot of family now. And the bottom line is family, I, I travel a lot. I talk to my wife probably a dozen times a day on the phone. If my wife called me tomorrow and I was in a meeting, I'd be on the plane the next day. Family is important, but my family knows that the most important thing in my life is Jesus Christ. And if I'm loving him, serving him, if I'm obeying him, then I'm gonna be the husband, the father, the grandfather. I'm gonna be the servant of God I ought to be. Family is very important. Our families are being torn apart. And so uh, for me, I wanna see families put back together. So, hey, I love my family. My, my boys think I love peaches, my dog more. I do. She just wants a biscuit, they want my money. I love my family. Well, if you'd pay me a million dollars, I'm kidding, I'm kidding again. You know what's funny is, uh, I've been doing this 30 years, and that's some of the first questions that are asked, how much is it gonna cost? I told a guy one time, you know what, it shouldn't cost, it ought to pay. If you'd like for me to come to your church, I've never turned anything down for money. But if you want some information, you can go to my website and there's a deal that says contact or contacts and you can click onto there. The lady that works in my office, her name is Sarah. Man, she loves God, prays for my ministry. But Sarah would give you all the information that you needed. I promise you. And you can look at my website and see all the stuff you wanna see, but it doesn't take a lot. Man, if you can pay for a plane ticket, put me up in a hotel, feed me a little bit, whether it's an honorarium or a love offering, hey, I'm there. And I've been in some small churches and some mega churches, but I've never turned anything down. So go to my contact deal on my website, click on, get with Sarah, and Ken Freeman can be in your church. It's kind of like coming to a theater near you. I'm coming to a church near you. I want to be in your church.